I'm running Tiny11 literally from my USB stick. Hello everybody, you are on Andrew Mihalovic channel. Today I'm going to show you how to run Tiny11 22H2 version. Literally it is the same Windows 11 Pro from your USB stick. You do not need to install it on your hard drive. You can just make a portable Windows 11 Lite version and run it from your USB stick. So first of all, I want to say that I recommend to have at least 16 gigabytes of memory. Previously, I tried to install Tiny11 on USB stick that have only 8 gigabytes of memory and it not work. Today, we're going to use Rufus program, which will help us to install Tiny11 on our USB stick. And also we need to have Tiny11 ISO file. Everything is very simple, you just need to repeat after me. The benefit of this method is that you will be able to run Windows 11 from your USB stick on any computer, on unsupported computer and even on newer models. It all depends on you. So before this video starts, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot. So let's get started. So guys, for the beginning, we need to open our browser. In my case, it is Google Chrome. Then we need to type next. Tiny 11 download and press enter. So we need to scroll down a little bit. And here you may see Tiny 11 NT Dev development team. We need to click here. Links will be in the video description. Okay, folks, from this website, we can download Tiny11. We need to scroll down a little bit another time. Here you may see Windows 11 Pro 22H2 because Tiny11 based on Windows 11. And if you move the mouse cursor here, you may see ISO image. We need to click on it and Tiny11 will automatically download on our laptop or computer. So click on it. My friends, as you can see, Tiny11 ISO file have 3 GB of memory. So now you just need to wait until it will be downloaded on your laptop or computer. As you can see, Tiny11 is already downloaded on my system. And then we need to download Rufus. So another time, we need to go to the Google Chrome browser. And then we need to type next. Rufus. Download and press enter. So here you may see Rufus. We need to find download section. We need to click on it. Links will be in the video description. Actually, from this website, we can download different version of Rufus program. So I will download the latest portable version. That's mean Rufus will run as portable application. So I will click here, close this window and it will automatically download it on my system. Okay, folks, now we can close this window. And now we need to insert our USB stick into the laptop or computer. So I insert my USB stick. If you have some important files information, I recommend to save it before you do this process because all information will be deleted from your USB stick. Also, I want to mention it doesn't matter which operating system or which file you have on your USB stick because using Rufus program, we will delete all information. After that, we need to go to the place where we download Tiny11 and Rufus program. So to make it more convenient, I will move Rufus and Tiny11 on my desktop. OK. So after you insert your USB stick, you can run Rufus program. You just need to click on it. Double clicking. Do you want to allow Rufus to check for application updates online? I will select no because it is the latest version. We are in the Rufus program. Here you may see device and we need to select our USB stick. And as you can see, it automatically detect my USB drive. Don't mention if you see this message Tiny11 because you will see another info about your USB stick. Then we need to select our ISO file. For this, we need to click here on select. I will go to the desktop 
and select Tiny 11. Click Open. My friends, please pay attention because it is very important moment. Here you may see Standard Windows installation. We need to click on it and you need to select Windows to go. It will give us opportunity to run Tiny 11 from our USB stick as portable Windows 11. You need to click on it. Then you may see UFI. If your BIOS support legacy, you need to do next. If you take a close look, by default you will see GPT in this section. So you need to click on it and select MBR. After that, you may choose legacy or UFI. And finally, you can name your USB stick if you wish. But I will leave everything by default and you need to click start. So click start and that's why Tiny11 is so popular. You may see a lot of important options and definitely I recommend to check all of them. For the example, let's look at this option. Disable data collection. In my opinion, I think this is very useful because Microsoft collect too much data. Your personal data. Also, you can select option create a local account. You will not be forced to enter Microsoft account. After you check all of this option, you can click OK. And also, you can name your user name if you wish. So let's click OK. All data, all information will be deleted from your USB stick. So if you have some important data, some important files, I recommend to save them. The installation process begins and literally we just need to wait until Tiny11 22H2 version will be installed on our USB stick and after that we can insert our USB flash drive into the laptop and run it as portable Windows 11. As you can see we successfully installed Tiny11 on our USB stick. Now we can close this window. And now we need to safely remove our flash drive. You need to click here and select your USB stick. After that, you can successfully remove your flash drive. My friends, now I can insert my USB stick into the laptop and run Tiny11 22H2 version from USB stick. Also, I want to mention one important thing. As you can see, I have USB 3.0. And that's mean I can insert it here into the USB 3.0 port and it will work much faster. The thing is, if you have USB 2.0 flash drive, it will work slower than USB 3.0 flash drive. So if you have an opportunity, definitely I recommend to choose USB 3.0 flash drive. So I will install my USB stick in USB 3.0 port and enter the BIOS. To enter the BIOS, in my case, I need to turn on the laptop and press F1 key. You can check on the internet which key you need to press to enter the BIOS in your model. Turn on the laptop, press F1 key. I successfully entered the BIOS and now I need to change priorities. In my case, I need to go to the startup, then you may see boot, Probably you may have another BIOS, but the boot option is available in every single BIOS. I will select boot and then I need to change priorities. I need to move my USB stick at the first place because on the first place you may see SSD drive. So I will use minus and plus key, minus, and I successfully move my USB stick at the first place. After this process, I will press escape and select exit saving changes. We need to save the changes and the laptop will restart. So definitely don't be afraid if it loads 5 minutes, 10 minutes or 15 minutes because first time it always longer than it usually is. Finally, we are in Tiny11 22H2, literally in Windows 11 and now we need to connect to the Wi-Fi. It also check for new updates. My friends, we are in the Windows and here you may see this message. Choose how to allocate processor resources. And we can select programs or background services. It all depends on you how you want to allocate performance of your processor. For example, I will select programs and click OK. And I can use Windows 11 from my USB stick.
Actually, Tiny 11 looks similar to Windows 11 because it is Windows 11, but as you can see, we don't have Microsoft Edge browser. I will go to the file manager and show you that I'm running Tiny 11 literally from my USB stick. As you can see, this is my USB drive. Actually, it works quite fast. As you can see, I'm running it from USB stick 3.0. I don't see any logs or freeze. Also, I want to mention that this is unsupported laptop. This is a Lenovo ThinkPad laptop L430. Okay, let's check for updates. Click here. My friends, as you can see, we're running Tiny 11 22H2 version literally from our USB stick and we get the latest updates. That's totally cool. Also, in short, I will show you the specs of my system. I will click on system, go to the about section. You may see my processor third generation and here you may see the version of the windows also i want to remind you that you still need to activate windows so the benefit of this method is that you can run windows 11 on unsupported computers from your usb stick and it's not necessarily important to have usb stick with 64 gigabytes of memory you can use 16 gigabyte USB stick and believe me, it will work. Previously, I ran Tiny 11 in virtual box only with 16 gigabytes of storage and it works stably. It worked without any problem or issues. And I want to mention that I using a local account and that's also cool. So friends, I think it will be more than enough for today. So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it. And if you want to know more about Tiny11, I recommend to click here on this video.